found in the northern part of Uganda. It's made of seven districts, Kabong, Kotido, Abim, Moroto, Nakapiprit, Amdat, and Napak. Today, Adventist Youth with a Mission began their journey of making Karamoja smile. Adventist Youth with a Mission is a group of young Adventist youth in Uganda and abroad who reach the unreached areas for the good news of the kingdom. At 2 p.m., we arrived at Evangelist Ola King, George Williams' place, from where we began our mission, Karamoja Can Smile. Nakayot in Napak district is one of the regions where many rarely have enough to cover their best needs. They lack water, they lack food, and many worship under trees. I'm so very powerful. I thank God that I made it here despite the challenges we got along the way. And we really thank the team that has enabled us to get here. After a warm welcome, Evangelist Ola Kin led the team of Adventist youth with a mission to the community where we interacted with over 50 households. One of the main problems affecting the people of this region is the problem of jiggers. An Adventist youth with a mission while there carried out spraying and teaching of the community on how to prevent and curb this problem. I'm called Lotte Lomule Andrew. I am very happy because these insects have been disturbing us so much and they have been causing us in health in such a way that they cause us skin diseases. We cannot sleep in the night because we have to we scratch overnight. Our skin, as you can see, are not fine because, because of the insects that cause us a lot of scratching and itching and uh, sometimes we have sleepless nights. We have diggers, we have uh, some insects which, we, which come out from the live in the soil. Mostly we have had children with diggers. We have also had uh, other skin rashes. You continue helping us to, uh, to go on spraying uh, 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 within time. Time after time when we need some services, you come and help us again in order to reduce these insects. And then you help us of course train us, to train us how to how to uh, how to prevent so that we can keep our health even when you are still far. The following day the team organized a health camp that saw over 300 adults and 200 children attend the services offered by Adventist Youth with a Mission, which included sensitization, jigger treating, and provision of medicine. So what you're seeing here taking place, we have some nurses and some medical personnel who are giving medications. We are treating malaria and we have some medicines for the stomach, especially for, for worms. But we have some diseases which we have not been able to treat because we do not have the medicine was available. But you are being able to offer what you can be able to uh, afford to give to these people. Uh, you can see the line is really long by very many, so many diseases. We have skin diseases, we have uh, people having malaria, we have people having other diseases. We have someone who has fractured the leg and we cannot be able to offer really much help except to ask him to go to the hostel. Some we are, we are requiring them to uh, medical facilities. But one thing you can note here is that medical facilities are not nearby and people don't have the, 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 the means to reach the medical uh, facilities where they can be treated. So we are able to offer what we can. Maybe you outside there also you can be inspired with what the little we have done and you can also be able to offer some help as much as you can. Thank you so much. Medicine that we came with, 
Today, uh, actually, even yesterday, we had several activities with Aliwam, Adventist Youth Association. And especially, we want to thank them. On behalf of uh, Eastern Uganda Field and Karamoja for the part that I usually take lead of, and that is Naka Pipit Moroto Na Park. Today, we are in the park and we've had activities that include cleaning of some homesteads, we had to do the treatment of jiggers, treatment of malaria, deworming, among other diseases. And uh, we've had the capacity to hold at least more than 300 people in the treatment area, despite the fact that the population was bigger than the number we anticipated to hold. We contacted the Adventist Youth for a mission for some support, and exactly that is part of the support we've had so far. This region is faced with many challenges. For example, particularly at this moment, there is a challenge of famine. There's a problem of water that they cannot do any irrigation. They have failed to get rain for quite a long time, and this has really been hectic for them. This is the main water source. And here are the solar panels that help on pumping this water. Apparently, uh, this uh, water source was installed here by Adra Uganda around five years back. And it's the main water source that supplies the whole of this village. Over 8,000 people, including the animals around that they have. When we look at these jerry cans this early morning, they are really empty and there is nobody fetching water. The effect is just because these solar panels are tilted in a different way that they cannot access the sunshine during the morning hours. And these people have to wait uh, until almost midday. That is when they can have the sunshine hitting these solar panels and then they can pump the water into that tanker. It also means at the same time that when it is, it is a little late, then there is no sunshine and that would also mean it will stop pumping. Now, the only water that comes during be, between 10 and around 5, that is the water they will be only using at that point. <laughs> In Nakayot, the church has 57 baptized members. Adventist Youth with a Mission had a talk with evangelistic Ola Keen, George William, about the gospel mission and the challenges they face. My, my name is uh, Evangelist Ola Keen, George William. I'm staying here as the church leader. We have 57 baptized members and children. The challenge is, first of all, I'm pastoring people who, who many of them have not gone to school. So even teaching someone who has not gone to school, you find it difficult. Because sometimes they need somebody who, who can prove for himself, as you tell him. But uh, since I came here, I, try, I tried to have some lessons with, with them. So some of them now can read and they can write uh, some words. Mapakasa district. This is the, the, the only central point of our church, the Seventh-day Adventist. We had started a, a church in Irir. But the person who was there, that was a, somebody, a builder from from Ginger. So when he finished this work, he left. So the people who were trying to, to give lessons, studies also, were not the natives within Israel. 
Also, and so, so went back to test where they were from. They were businessmen. So <coughs> that church we started collapsed like that. With the summer activities we've held, we've seen a positive response. We had different talks with the people we did do treat last time, and uh, at least we had a positive response. Some of them are very appreciative. And the diggers were here, healed. We had one, two serious cases the previous time we came, where we were involved with three people working here. We went to the community praying with the members where we had paralyzed guy. This boy was paralyzed for two years. He would not walk, he would not do anything. He would even help himself from wherever he was sitting or sleeping. Uh, we went there, a team of three people. With faith, we did pray for him and we thank God. He's now walking. Thank God for that. We also prayed for a lady who had a problem with, with her chest. But uh, I got a call and I was informed she was fine. She was fine. Despite the fact that I've only seen the boy physically, I've not seen the lady, but at least I got a positive response that she became well. So the different, different testimonies, the number of people that we approach time after time, they are seeing a positive change in their lives. We don't thank anybody, we thank God who has enabled everybody who can touch a heart by the small thing, the small token we offer, the small time we offer to come and help them, the small time we take to pray for them and faithfully help them. After a series of activities in Nakayot, the team crossed over to Nakapipirit and provided some schools with scholastic materials and career guidance. When we start, we can be able to do all this. Eugene Francis, head teacher of Tokwara Primary School. The Adventist youth with a mission, you are most welcome to Tokora here. Come with the spiritual word to build the children to perform, knowing why they have come to school. And the only challenges I may tell you are some of the parents do not allow their children to come to school. That's why you see the number is still low because parents have not picked the benefit of the school. My name is Nama Jokkaro. Come in a school called Namoroto Primary School to supply some of the school's first materials. We've come to also do some career guidance and to inspire the kids. My name is Musazi Salex, pastor of the Best Adventist Church in Abba Pilipiliti. We are here at Tokola Primary School to give career guidance to the pupils and some assistance in the scholastic materials. We've come with the help of our young youth with the mission from Kampala. We've moved, this is the second school in the Nakapilipiliti. Came from Namorotot. Uh, we are here at this school which has existed here for a long period of time and we are sharing the word of God with pupils, career guidance and to help them with the few scholastic materials. A wise man will give you a hook to fish. Okay? Yes. A foolish man will give you a fish to eat because when you finish eating you get hungry again. But when we give you a hook, you keep fishing, okay? Yes. And this is what we have brought. We didn't bring sweeties because that is a fish. But we brought you a hook, yes. which is this. Make sure you get more fish. Yeah. With the uncountable challenges this region faces, water shortage, health, and education are some of the few areas Adventist youth with a mission identified and believe that these need a quick response and a solution to. Have the poor hall, which is a helping both human beings and animals. So we all water from the same place. Another challenge is we have a problem of uh, of health problem. 
So many, many people here suffer, even some die. Like pregnant women when they are about to give birth. Even some do abort because there are no health services. Where can somebody, when she begins to, to bleed, he can go and the health personnel can help that somebody get stopped from bleeding and many, many, many diseases. So the place needs some health unit. Our travel to Nakayot and Nakapibrit was a good experience. The experience gave the young people who served with us from Adventist the Mission to have the heart of love for the people in the community where they live in and to show, to, to show that we have a lot of work to do as Adventists. Most of them we talk to show their particular interest to actually join the church even others were asking when shall we have a church near their location and, and so that they can also be coming to the church and experiencing this kind of love so it was a great experience for the young people for the youth for us all of us when we saw that we, even the little which god has given us we were able to serve and if we got another opportunity, even longer period of time, most of these people can accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and they can come and get baptized. Our mission to make Ramoji smile has just begun, and we hereby thank the team we went with and everyone who supported us to make it a reality. I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. The challenges in this region are real. The need is great. We therefore call upon all sorts of support towards this noble cause. Karamoja can smile.